All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Forgone. It's a... It's a platformer. It looks a lot like Dead Cells because they actually do the same thing. They've got 3D models that they run under a, uh, a filter to make it look all pixely. There's actually a number of games that have been doing that lately. Dead Cells is probably the most famous among them. Uh, there's also Valferis and Slain, which did that. And now this one, there's got to be a couple more that do it too. It's a neat way of handling like 2D stuff and making it look retro without actually having to go through all the effort of uh, doing crazy, um, crazy pixel art. And it generally looks good. It's still nowhere close to doing like full hand-done pixel art owl boy styles, but time-saving measure with the neat retro style, it works. The sprawling city of Caligan was once the forefront of the scientific of scientific research, not the scientific research. Its progress was suddenly halted by the invasion of a rival state, all bent on stealing its technology. Desperate to survive, Caligan scientists developed a breed of super soldiers to turn the tide. The arbiters, you, are the first arbiter. So when I first saw this game, I thought it was rad as heck. Because I was like, how did you get the uh, the sprite work to be this tight? And the answer is, oh. I remember when this forest was full of life. Now it's just twisted, like everything else. Question, do I have audio settings? I do. Oh, I love it when they give me settings like this. So I'm going to crank this business down. And then I'm going to crank the voice acting back up. But yeah, like I said, it's a 3D model, same as Dead Cells. Unfortunately, that meant I was kind of a bit of... Oops, uh, I was a bit of a jerk when I was talking to their, like, PR community manager, I think it was. Because I was like, this is super impressive, how did you do this? And she's like, oh, you know, it's just a 3D... Um, it's just a 3D model. I'm like, oh, that's less impressive. And it was like, wait a second. That was like a really douchey thing for me to say. Whoops. Ow. Okay, melee hits restore ammo. I see. So I've got seven shots. I have, I have no idea. Okay. So we can dodge underneath. We can dodge through enemies. It looks like we do gain an amount of health. These shooter guys are a bit of an issue, though. Guess it didn't take long for the Harrow to set in after the war. Evade. Pass under objects. Avoid enemy attacks. <sighs> no time to reminisce. Back to the mission. Okay, I'm getting some HP back, so it's not so bad. But yeah, focus on dodging at least a little bit more than I have been. I'm digging the music. The voice actress isn't bad either. So I assume these guys are health bags. Interesting. So I can get stunlocked pretty bad. It doesn't look like the enemies get stunlocked as bad as I do. And I have to wait for them to start their attack pattern. Otherwise, I get shot. And that hurts. A lot, actually. Okay. I wonder if I get an upgrade for... No. Because, yeah, I can't roll midair, which is actually a bit of a bit of an issue. Oh, we'll make it work. Or we won't, and we'll die horribly. Both are entirely valid. Uh, let's see, there's something up there. If there's like a cooldown on the dodge. Oh, that's gonna throw me off. Now, ooh, Cashola. Now, looks like we've got different weapons, different guns, armors, rings, and somethings. And it does look like this is a bit of a Metroidvania. We'll have to see how Metroidvania it is. 
but I appreciate the fact that there is just a map right, right from the get go. I'm gonna turn the music back up a bit. Okay. And yeah, as long as I don't take too many hits, I don't have to worry too much about running out of HP along the way. Uh, let's see. Nothing there. It looks like maximum ammo is 14. Oh. Right, bumper activate. There we go. Okay. Anything fancy, schmancy either of these directions? No. Aha! I'm the ankle biter. Shit. That didn't work. Oh, that is such a cool critter. The animations, it's weird. By pixela pixelizing everything, it actually makes everything look considerably smoother with the animations. It's either that or the animations are just really smooth to begin with. No! Hi. Just once couldn't something stay dead? <sighs> Change of plans, I suppose. Never thought I'd be going back to the temple. Damn, that is a cool looking statue. And I honestly can't tell if some of this is 2D or 3D. Like, the statue itself might actually just be pixel art, but I, I can't tell. I just realized there's a double jump. I've just been kind of doing it. This place is always giving me the creeps. Okay, there we go. Ow! Okay, so I can actually double jump through some of that. Uh, let's see. Where am I? So there is stuff over to the left. Let's go check that. Maybe. Because, yeah, this looks new. But stuck. Okay. Well, there's the answer. So what am I reminded of? You know what? I, I know people are bringing up Dead Cells, which I think is an apt comparison. But I think the better comparison... Uh, in terms of just structure, might end up being Death's Gambit. Now it's even worse. Obviously, it's Death's been infected. What? A bad dream? Forget it. Stick to the mission. Stick to the mission. What's this? Sprint? Surge. I just have a charge attack. Okay. But yeah, a lot of people gonna keep bringing up Dead Cells, but like, Death's Gambit really had a similar feel to me. Hi! And now... Okay. Uh, now we're solidly looking at a Sundered thing. Okay, taking damage has a chance to gain Bulwark, increase physical resistance. 
Uh, plays Plague, damage over time eff uh, effects, damage dealing tethers, latch onto the target, damage on moving and breaking max distance. Uh, it's the explosive charge in leech, seal life when attacking in haste. Uh, let's see. I'm going to allocate a little bit to leech. I think we're going to need that. And surge. Oh, I see. I can change which abilities I have. We can teleport, but we don't have anywhere to teleport to. We can forge. What do we forge? We can upgrade. Upgrade the sword? Well, I have a lot of money. Sure. Sword? Looks like she's been busy. Better track her down before she can do any more damage. So does this just warp me back? I'm digging the visuals. I don't know why. This is... Okay, Woods, Waypoint 1. What, for whatever reason, this is a game that I can't help but compare to like a bunch of other games that I've just been playing recently. The other game that's suddenly stuck in my mind is Mind Seas, which is... I played that like two weeks ago or something? It was a neat game, but it was clunky. This seems a lot smoother. The dodging is going to worry me a bit. But I will give credit where credit is due that the the actual like moment to moment just like fighting and hitting stuff isn't so bad. Oh, I see. Th those guys just shoot spinies. What are you? Uh oh, pistol. Oh! There's randomly generated equipment? So the enemies have super obvious telegraphs. Now, interesting point about this game. It's an early access. I'm not used to Metroidvanias being an early access. Okay. I'm used to them being kind of one and done uh, style of games, and so it'll be interesting potentially playing this later when it's closer to release. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Monster, Monster Sanctuary's early access. Yeah, but otherwise, like, it, it really is a genre that is largely complete before it comes out. Kunai recently, Mind Seas. Um, unfortunately, it's also a genre that doesn't change too much between. I guess we should probably take a look at some of this equipment. So we do also have daggers. I'll try them at least. These are better, but it's been upgraded. Uh, let's see, two different pistols. Uh, looks like they're the same. Increase aftershock damage, power and health. I put that on power and health. I'm not entirely sure what power signifies. Huh. Looks like I'm on the right track. Okay, no idea what that is. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's it's my healing move. Hell yeah, I needed that. Badly. Well, that'll offset a lot. We Hollow Knight now. Okay. So the dagger seems kind of fun. It's got a lot of zippy, zippy attacks. Bit of an AoE going on. Not overwhelmingly. Uh, Falchion. Chance to apply stasis. No, I'm, I'm, I'm tentatively digging the randomly generated equipment. Uh, if only because I think it works for this game. Hopefully their effects are interesting. I, 
I just got finished playing Dungeon Defenders, and the equipment in that game was, uh, in a word, lackluster. Like, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't exciting. And I will always stand by that... I will always stand by that when it comes to, uh, randomly generated equipment. It's like, I would love- ooh, god, that hurt. I would love to have really interesting ran randomly generated equipment in games, but it's rarely done in such a way that any of it matters. Hey! Okay, so outpost sec- or teleport is actually just full heal me. Nice! But, you know, just- just stat increases with, like, simple graphics. It can work in a couple of games, but for the most part, it's boring and doesn't really excite me seeing more. Uh, let's see. Increases flat damage, attack speed, leech duration, haste duration, movement speed by a bit. It's very small bonuses. This is not the most exciting. System I've ever ogled. It doesn't mean it's bad, though. Uh, let's see. Do I want an explosive charge? Tether. Oh, you you have to choose between. That's fine. Leech is probably more useful. Let's try Tether instead of an explosive charge. Maybe? Maybe not. Let's do Contagion. So you guys got to decide for me if I want to do Unstable Strikes or Hunter's Instinct. Do I want to Tether or Charge? I can refund them though, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so Felshin is better. Oh, and it looks like equipment maxes out at level 5. And there are different gear levels. So I guess let's just upgrade this once. Should probably save my money. I'm bad at that. So crit strike chance. Now if I destroy something, I don't want to test that yet. Because, yeah, I don't know if destroying something gets you money. Because if it gets you money, awesome. If it doesn't get you money, mm, less awesome. Okay. So the Felshin might not have been worth it. We'll see. If it could do a drop attack. That said, big sword, big damage. Big damage. Okay, let's stay away from that a little bit. Not get ourselves killed. It looks like there's something here. That might have been some loot or something. Hard to say. There we go. Get out of here. Yeah, the telegraphing on the enemies is real good. That guy a loot pinata. I am unsure. There's something there. Let's see. Did I miss stuff? Oh! Do they procedurally generate the maps? They honestly might. Aha! But yeah, the the good telegraphs are kind of a nice way around the, the fact that the dodging isn't very smooth. Oh, 
Like, I think a lot of that just has to do with the fact that I'm... I've played enough... Dead Cells to be, uh... Spoiled by that game. There we go. But I can get around. The contact damage, though. Least favorite thing. Luckily, this game doesn't seem to have it in the slightest. Okay. Anyway, contact damage, level design. Okay, so all the levels are hand designed. Probably for the best. Makes sense with these backgrounds. I am just brutalizing some of these dudes. I think I'm still preferential to a, uh, a faster weapon, just so I can, like, hit once or twice. And then bail, but I'll give credit where credit is due. This, uh, this absolutely chops. There we go. I don't know how much I have to worry about the flame vents. Hell yeah. I like that charge. I I hope we get to play more with the abilities in this game. There seems like there's a lot of potential uh, specifically... Ow! There's a lot of potential specifically with that. I guess I might as well heal up at least a little bit. Uh, let's see. Right here. This is... This looks like a drop-down point. There's something going on here. Maybe? No. What? Unless we've got to get a drop-down ability to get through this one. Are there's nothing else? No. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess we got the lever, so we should we should have access to this. We... Dude, nope. I was gonna say, I wonder if there's falling damage in this game. Maybe. May not be. But there's definitely, uh... Damage if I go straight into a flame vent. Because that would hurt. So, Oh. Uh, that might actually be the thing I was looking for. I believe this is the section I saw on, um... At PAX. So I, I should probably mention, uh, so like I said, I'd, I'd seen this game before. Uh, I thought for a second he dropped his musket. I got excited. Ow! Uh, Brain. Brain says hi. Boom. Hello. Open this up. Uh, let's see. So yeah, this is on, on display at PAX West a uh, couple months back. And that's where I had like, seen it before. Whoops. Well, I'm back down here again. Uh, let's see. A weapon... Missed a weapon drop. Oh, so I did. Thank you. Alright. Uh, in that case, let's take a look at th some things. So, that's the Felshin I've got on. Haven't found anything else that's better. We do have a shotgun. Uh, let's try the shotgun. This pistol's better, but only ma marginally so. Try the tether break dan distance. No, these are better. What is this? Emblem, just extra health. So is power just like an overall gear score that affects how much damage I do? Or is it, uh... Okay, got that. I guess we'll find out. My assumption is the higher my power score, the more damage I do. That's usually how it works in these games. Now is this? This is just an alternate way around. Oh, just quality of items. So it's item level. Easy enough. Uh, so in that case, are you a are you a developer or do you just know a lot about this game? Because I know this was like not actually a small studio that worked on this. Or comparatively to some. Okay, so we can get up in, in him. Look like there's much here. You're a developer, yeah. Well, great job. I, I will give chops or chops credit. Credit where credit is due. That uh, freaking. Uh, 
<laughs> I am not out of vacation mode yet. Uh, but thanks for dropping by, Master. I'm welcome. I I hope I'm doing your game at least moderate justice. <laughs> okay, so let's forge. So we want to bust some things down. Honestly, I'm just going to salvage both of these. I like the short sword and the daggers better, but... Uh, we're just going to... I'm going to be a slave to gear quality here. Whether or not it's a good idea. And let's just get dead moons. Uh, let's see. So do we want to go maximum turbo chops here? Or do I want to upgrade one of the guns? Could. Oh, plague damage, tether damage. Well, we're not doing one or, one or the other. Let's upgrade that. Keep that. Do I want to have hella chops? Currently it does... Oh, upgrade. Upgraded by spending gold. Upgrade increases DPS or health by 10%. And has a chance to enhance an equipment modifier. So in that case, I probably want to save my cash. 10% extra DPS is an amount, but it's not amazing. Okay. So explosive charge, max stacks, or when duration ends. Last five seconds. Stacks up to five times. I like this stacking. Now let's go for that. Because then I can stack a bunch of explosives. Probably should have paid attention to some of the bonus effects, seeing as I can't get access to them, but that's okay. I'm, actually, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, let's see. Allocate damage by 2%. Kind of low. Keep bumping it into unstable strikes. Yeah, so it looks like I have, I will have five different abilities for each of these slots that I can switch out. That's kind of neat. So I guess seeing as you would, you uh, you would know this. How many people worked on this? Because I know you're not. A small studio necessarily. You started with mobile games, unless I'm mistaken. I don't know. I unfortunately, there's a lot of details to remember from PAX, and this was actually one of the games that really stood out to me, just because of how. Sounds like I'm on the right track. But how did she get free in the first place? Uh, but yeah, this is one of the games that absolutely stood out to me as. Uh, as just, like, whoops. A, a game that I'd never heard of before, never seen before, and thought it just looked really sweet. Okay, so upgrading shotgun? Not a bad idea. Definitely has some sweet effects. Excuse me, none of that. None of that, you. Okay, more guns. That... Whoops. There we go. Anything else? No. I'm being a little careful. These guys can hurt. They can definitely stun lock me. Uh, let's see. I also want to make sure I, I see everything. Aha! I think I did miss something back here. Uh, nope. Let's see, so it was a studio of about 70 and team of about 20. Oh. No, I didn't actually miss anything. There's just like a little nook there and I'm like, oh, secret nook! And the answer is nope. Not actually Secret Nook. There we go. I, I like the shotgun. I don't know if I'm going to stick with it. 
But I think the real limiting factor is less so the shotgun. Oh, shotgun probably has an AoE now that I'm thinking about it. It does. Which, credit, extra credit where credit is due. The fact that uh, we aim up when we shoot is really nice. Not a lot of games do that. What game was I playing recently? Um, where I was really mad about how aiming was handled. Whereas, like, slight auto-aim would have made, made things actually tolerable. But as it stood, enemies could just fly straight around my attacks. Like, just... Just down a smidge. Too many games, though. Too many games in my head. Way too many to play. It's it's easier for me to remember games that I'm looking forward to than games I've already played, which is a really strange situation. Um, but I, I think it's kind of one of those, it's like, once I've finished a game, it's usually straight out of my mind. Uh, you know, I, I don't need to think about it again, because it's like, okay, cool. On to the next. And unless it was particularly memorable, yeah, it's just poof. A game where you played the wheelchair-bound doctor and put into the mini-mech suit with the auto aim thing. I... Was that it? That might have been it. I want to say it was a different one, but it could have it could have been that one. That was Mind Seize. Which I guess I'd been talking about right before this. Now. So yeah, it could have been Mind Seize that needed the slight auto-aim. But either way, it does make a huge difference when it comes to like picking targets and shooting at them and stuff to have the character aim for me. Because trying to do so on my own gets really awkward, really fast. And there's a couple of games where it works. A lot of games where it doesn't. Oh, you know what? Silly enough, it might have actually been Dead Cells. There's like a couple of weapons in that game that have a really substantive auto-aim, and there's a lot of weapons that don't. Maybe? No. Maybe I'm misremembering. Okay, so running a little low on HP. I guess I can I can fix that easy. The fact that we have a healing move is super choice. No farting from you. This is no fart zone. It does have some auto aim for bows. Okay, so it wasn't dead cells then. It was something. So okay, I did complain about it in mind seas. Something about the bees. Got it. So yeah, was that that one? It just surprisingly found the game surprisingly uh not memorable. Can I just duck that. Oh, I can. And I'm dead. Never mind. Well, that's the first death. Let's see what happens. Probably just dumps me back at the checkpoint. Why does the map progress get reset every single time? I have no idea. You want to bust this up? Oh, I upgraded it. I'm a fool. Aftershock damage or explosive. Those we have 9% health. Crit strike chance is actually pretty good, though. Map saving, saving just isn't in the game yet. Oh. Interesting. So how far are you guys in this game uh, in terms of development? Because, yeah, like I said, not used to Metroidvanias being a um, an early access product. Which I guess is kind of kind of good for me because this is a, <laughs> this is a terrible month uh in terms of new releases there's just so many of them um oh map saving didn't make it in however
Uh, map saving didn't make it in, but all the shortcuts I opened up did. Okay. Also, nice thing, you can in uh, you can cancel your animations uh, as long as they're not, like, connecting. Whoops. There we go. Grab the armor. Don't think it's actually gonna be any good. Oop. Give me that sweet health juice. Okay, and there was a thing here. Yeah, there's always so many games coming out every given week, day, year, month, so on and so forth. And it's kind of a mixed bag for early access for me. Because it's one of those where... It's one of those where, like, on one hand, uh... If it's early access, it means I can kind of defer my series on the game. Oh. Oh, no, I... I probably plagued these suckers. I can defer the series and more or less just be like, well, I can just play this at a later date. And I can. Whoops. Actually, kind of... Needed you. Well, when in doubt, poke him in the, poke him in the leg bits. Anything interesting here? No. Okay. Uh... Yep. Works. There we go. Now the question is... This guy is not affected by saw blades. I am... I'm offended? Grab that. Shoot this guy. Hey! Get the shortcut down. Perfect. I... Okay, I can't drop through this. And not kill myself on the saw blade. That wouldn't be bad. Uh, let's see. What was he even going to say? Dodging, death, other things. Right. Early access games. I don't know. It just gives me something to look forward to when it eventually comes out. Uh, it does mean we're going to probably hit some kind of weird, awkward uh, point where it's just like, well, can't do anymore. We're done. But the game's not done. Uh, let's heal before we go up here. This looks dicey. Give it a loot. Okay. Got him. And all he had was a flimsy white for me. That's unfortunate. There we go. Nope. I wanted the ring. He did not give the ring. Go. Oh. Lightning staff, man. Can I have that? I hope so. That seems kind of fun. Long animation, though. Could be risky. We'll see. Okay, so Thunder Thunder Boys have a long animation. And I'm dead. Damn it. Yeah, so the Felshin is definitely holding me back. Unfortunately, I don't think I've seen another melee weapon go by. Uh we got a longbow though. Another shotgun. By the longbow. Looks fun. Okay, uh, let's see. You know what? I'm I'm gonna stop us here for just a smidge. I'm actually gonna keep recording at least for the YouTube or for the Twitch side of things, and YouTube will get it later. Uh, but I actually I rather like this game. the The environments are absolutely gorgeous. I do find the repeated just kind of platform design to be a little bit basic. It'd be kind of neat to see a little bit more variance than just platform enemies on it, rinse repeat forever. Uh, I, I guess I'm going to say I'm going to be dropping a lot of feedback and it might make me sound like I'm being negative, but actually the more I throw feedback at a game, the more I believe in it. And so this is actually one of those games that has a really good base, 
Uh, there's a couple of, couple of things that I'll be, like, talking about here and there, but, like, otherwise, so far impressions are good. The 3D to sprite look is amazing, and I super dig it. The music is super nice. The varied weapons, it's a bit basic. I'd like to see some more interesting effects on the weapons. You know, a felshin that's maybe just bigger, uh, or has a faster attack speed or something like that. Because the... The small percent bonus chance to apply stasis, that's okay. But, like, I'm not going to remember this weapon. I, I'm i not going to remember this Felshin compared to any other Felshin I pick up. It's just going to be the first one I pick up. Um, and so, like, a couple of these will be nice. But it would be more fun to have some, like, weird tweaks that is just like, this bow fires two arrows, or this bow has bounce, or something like that. And, obviously, that's probably more work. Um, but I have a bone to pick with randomly generated weapons, and I think it works in this situation. Uh, but that bone will remain, uh, p well, remain unpicked. I, I will still pick it anyway. I don't know. Um, but, like, there's, there's stuff we could talk about with this game, but otherwise, like, it's going in the right direction. It looks super good, and, you know, it's fairly tight for an early access product. I don't know how much is in the game. I'm assuming we've got a fair bit, uh fair bit to play before we run out of content um but i wanted to say i guess before we go we've been going for at least a little bit so game is currently on i know it's at least on epic the epic game store i don't think it's on any other storefronts yet yeah i'm pretty sure it's not on steam yet so for people that are interested in picking this one up uh you have to get it on epic game store at least currently and i'm assuming once the game comes out of early access then it'll probably go on other platforms which is a safe way of doing it i've seen a number of games do this hades uh genesis alpha one and a couple others i think that's actually a good way to do it uh you know have that nice kind of guaranteed basic boost smaller audience to really like get the game going without uh, without just putting it out there in an early access state where everybody's like why isn't it done yet uh, so you have that like core audience and then eventually when it's done put it on Steam and everybody's like oh shoot this game's cool uh, at least I hope so that's how it worked with Hades and that was a good thing um, and it's 25 bucks so not a bad price that's about how I would price most good Metroidvanias I think that's about the same price as like Bloodstained Ritual of the Night and Hollow Knight should have been 20, 25, 30 bucks. Can't believe that game's 15, but still. Uh, but like, as an avid Hollow Knight fan, I wouldn't just go play Hollow Knight instead of this. And that's, uh, I mean, that hopefully is good, uh, good praise. Because uh, I've been bouncing off of a lot of Metroidvanias lately, and this is the one, this is the one that I've played recently that really makes me want to stick around, at least for a little while longer. Anyway. Uh, so I guess the last thing I would say as part of this outro is if you do feel like picking this game up, you can actually use the affiliate code WANDERBOT uh, when doing the purchase or just check the link in the description below. And I will get a very, very small cut of that, which is nice for me, but not necessary if you just want to support the developers all the way. I think actually that comes out of Epic's cut, so hey. Anywho. Uh, so I guess with that, if you like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more... Uh, yeah, we're gonna do more.